Many people have a soft spot for this breed of dog. Their coats are white with black or brown markings. Ideally, these should be distributed evenly. Dalmatians are renowned for their lovable and playful nature. Marino Radovic lives in the Dalmatian region of Croatia, and he wanted to own one ever since he was a boy. Dalmatians are now rare on the Dalmatian coast. That's why I wanted to own this kind of dog, because it's something special. I found a breeder online who was pleased for her dog to go to me in Dalmatia, although she had a lot of inquiries from abroad. The dogs owe their spots to a special gene. Dalmatian puppies are born with plain white coats and develop their black or brown markings around 10 days later. Marino Radovic spends a lot of time with his dog Tsar by the coast. Dalmatians have lively temperaments and need a lot of exercise, up to four hours a day. I'm very happy with him. I'd never swap him for another breed. He's brought so much satisfaction and joy into my life. In the town of Saostrog, some 90 kilometers north of Dubrovnik, Anita Stefanic and her Dalmatians are about to visit an old Franciscan monastery. A painting here dating back to 1710 shows a scene with Dalmatians. The Croatians see this as important proof that the dog comes from this region. They were bred in Dalmatia, primarily in the Dubrovnik region. The inhabitants were seafarers and traders who successfully exported Dalmatians all over the world. To India, for example, because the dogs were so versatile. They were often presented as gifts too, thanks to their beauty and elegance. They reached Northern Europe by land. In France and England, they were bred for many years and were used as carriage dogs. Or to flush out game. Celebrities like the Beatles like to be seen with them. In New York, they escorted firefighters on their calls and became the service's mascot. In 1961, Disney's animated version of the novel, 101 Dalmatians, thrust the breed into the limelight. In 1996, Hollywood brought out a remake. Back in Saostrog, Anita Stefanic is treating her dogs to an excursion in a paddle boat. While three-year-old Chaplin is happy to sniff the sea breeze, one-year-old Zorro prefers to swim to the beach. Dalmatians love water. They're definitely more athletic than I am. It's hard to keep up with them. The dogs will do anything that's fun. Anita's dogs were bred by Jelka and Mikhail Dražić. Their kennel is located in the countryside near Zagreb. And they sell some of their dogs abroad. And even pigmentation and a good pedigree are important things they look out for. If you buy a Dalmatian, it's a round-the-clock job. But Dalmatians are keen to learn. It doesn't take long to teach them the basics. Jelka Halpadražić has already won lots of awards for her animals. A pedigree dog from her kennel will set you back around 1,000 euros. This is the dog sofa in our house. They have their own place to sleep and aren't allowed onto our bed. But we do live together like a family. This family also got their dogs from Jelka and Michal. Eva Medici and her husband have two small children, so they were looking for dogs that were sociable and could fit into family life. They're great family dogs. As you can see, they are great with children, they are quite active. They are for active families, but also they are very gentle and they know how to behave with children. I like Dalmatians because they come from Croatia. The dogs can go for a run in the woods near their home. For this family, Dalmatians mean one thing, pure, unbridled happiness. <laughs>